Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of your Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for The Walking Dead. And in today's video, we're going to be doing another Q&A video for The Walking Dead 11C. Going to update a little bit and talking about some Walking Dead stuff, as well talking about why it sounds like a lot of us are scared for the ending of the series. We got people in here to protect. That's my job. And yet, I was sent here anyway. Alright guys, this is going to be doing another video for today. This one's going to be doing another video for The Walking Dead. And in today's video, we're going to be doing another Q&A video for The Walking Dead and 11C. I uh, haven't done one of these Q&As for the main Walking Dead in quite a while. So, wanted to update, wanted to kind of talk about The Walking Dead a little bit for this video uh, for today. And uh, update with you guys, go over a few of your comments and uh, stuff like that. So, scared for 11C. I wanted to get into this topic before we get into some of your Q&A questions. Now, scared for 11C, what do I mean by this? What do I kind of... Uh, mean by this title well I'm scared for 11c and I wanted to kind of acknowledge this not only because of myself but because I've heard a lot of comments from you guys over the last couple weeks telling me that you guys are scared for 11c I've heard a lot of you guys that have told me that recently and honestly anybody that's scared for 11c I can't blame you okay because here's the thing Walking Dead is ending we only have eight episodes left and then the series is over guys like let that sink in Eight episodes and it's done. Never again. We're never gonna see it again. We're never gonna whatever. It's that's over. And we've had no Rick news so far. We've had no CRM news so far. We've really not felt like it's ending. I mean, to me, when I watch 11C, I feel like I'm just watching another half season. And I've said that in recent videos as well, too. Is that season 11 has been a good season, but does it feel like an ending? Does it feel like a, you know, coming full circle and a big ending with all the characters we love and all this stuff. No, it hasn't, you know, and that's definitely one thing worth uh, mentioning, I would have to say. So I guess I want to ask you guys in this video, are you nervous for 11C? Are you scared that Walking Dead is going to rush their ending? Are you scared that it's not going to give us any kind of Rick information? Are you scared that, you know, it's going to end and it's it's all going to be just set up for the spinoffs, which is looking very likely at this point. So I don't know. I would like to hear from you guys. Are you guys scared for 11C? Do you think that we have anything to worry about? Or do you think that Walking Dead is going to come through and do you think it just is a matter of time and the Comic-Con trailer will kind of convince us that it is going to be good? I definitely want to hear that from you guys uh, in the comments section below. So, uh, yeah, cause, you know, like I said, I would love to hear where you guys kind of stand on it because it's an ending. It's important. You know, an ending is, it, it, to be honest, to me, an ending of a series is more important than its beginning. So, you know, you don't want to screw that up. And Walking Dead had a phenomenal beginning, so let's hope it can have a phenomenal ending. So let me know in the comments uh, if you think it'll have a great ending or do you think we're going to be disappointed. So uh, that's definitely something I want to hear from you guys. But anyway, let's get into a few of your Q&A comments and questions for today for The Walking Dead. First one comes from Beaverus, who says that uh, they are really concerned that, uh, you know, potentially not all the plots that are currently going on right now in 11B are all going to have the time to be resolved in just eight episodes. Uh, what do I think about this? So, uh, yes, I agree. And honestly, it's, I think that's part of the reason why I'm so scared for 11C is that Walking Dead Season 11, like I've said before, it's been a really good season so far. But the one thing I think it's been lacking is the feeling of conclusion. So I hope that 11C can kind of fix that, um, at least it better, because it's the only other half season we have. Um, but yeah, like it's like there's so many things going on, you know, in the Commonwealth and in the storylines that we have right now. And we just, just wrapped up Leah, for God's sakes. Like we only now dealt with that. And, you know, how are they going to wrap up in eight episodes? Lance, Commonwealth, everything going on in that. I mean, you've got the Eugene stuff. You've got the stuff with Maggie. You've got the stuff with Daryl and them. And then you've got CRM that's still out there. And the question of whether we're going to see that. And, you know, if they're going to bring back Rick, like, how are they going to do it? You know, and it's like, are they going to bring back anybody else? And how do they have the time to put all this together and all the storylines they have going on? And it's like... I, I'm definitely concerned, you know, Pamela hasn't had much screen time yet. What can they do with her in only eight episodes? Like, it, it's a lot. Like, mentally, it's a lot, even just to think about it. It's like, oh my god, like, what are they going to do for just eight more episodes, you know? Because you don't want the pacing to be too, like, too fast either, to where it's like, you can't catch a break either. So it's like, 
I, I don't know. I, I am very concerned on the pacing so far of this season, and I, I will agree. Uh, it's definitely something I am a little bit concerned about for sure. Uh, another one comes from Devin who says that, um, do I think that we will see previous characters return like Rick? And uh, they kind of go into uh, a few things about Rick and whether or not uh, we may see a family reunion with Rick or whether or not it's going to be saved for the movies, uh, so on and so forth. So um, I don't think we're going to see Rick reunite with his family, guys, honestly. And I think that's what's really upsetting me is that I feel like Rick, at the most, in 11C, he's going to be a post-credit to, you know, advertise the movies, to advertise Gimple's stupid freaking franchise that he's trying to turn into the next MCU. I mean, seriously, like, give us Rick. Give us Rick. Give us the reunion with the family. Give us the reunion with Daryl. And then what can you do? The movies can serve as a prequel to the end of The Walking Dead. Rick gets back at the end of the series, and you're like, oh my god, amazing reunion, everything like that. And then they give us one movie. You don't need to do three. You don't need to do freaking three. You give us one movie that then shows you the gap between when he left to the end of the series, what went on there, how did he escape, and how did he get back home. You can make it very pilot vibes, you know, on the horse, I'm looking for my family type thing, whatever you want to do in that film. Make one film to show you what happened when he was taken to how he got back over the course of those years, and there you friggin' have it. I mean, is that so hard to do? And then you can end Walking Dead with Rick, end Walking Dead with the reunions, and make people happy, you know? I mean, is that so hard to do, Gimple? Is that seriously so hard to do? I'm just saying, if I was in charge, that's what I would have done, to be honest, because that's, to me, what should happen, to be honest. So, yeah, it's, it's very frustrating. And honestly, I would hope to see a family reunion, but I'm sadly not getting my hopes up. And the last one comes from JJ, who says that, uh, yes, indeed, Last Day on Earth is absolutely an underrated episode. And they kind of go into uh, why and a few details like that. So we did a top 10 this week uh, where we kind of talked about uh, Last Day on Earth and, you know, that episode. And, you know, that obviously made the list this week. And a lot of people were surprised because Last Day on Earth is a, a very, you know, hated episode. Uh, that is the season six finale. Um I just love it. I love the anticipation of, you know, waiting to see Negan. I love the kind of feeling of loss that they make, you know, our group feel and stuff. It's just, it's really, really interesting. And honestly, uh, it's something that we've never seen in The Walking Dead before. We never saw a, a scene like that where our characters just straight up have to line up. They lose and, you know, everything like that. It's just one of the most memorable episodes for me. And that's a good thing too. Like, it's a really, really fantastic episode. So anyway... Let me know in the comment section below, what did you guys think about this episode of uh, The Walking Dead Last Day on Earth? And are you worried about 11C of The Walking Dead? Are you worried that we're not going to get the uh, reunion with Rick? Are we, you know, are we all kind of worried right now? Are some people excited? I'm definitely excited no matter what. I mean, that's one thing I'll always say. I'm always excited for The Walking Dead. But am I nervous for a mediocre ending? Yeah, I can actually say I am because I've seen a lot of mediocre endings. I'm talking Game of Thrones, Ozark, and so many more. I mean, there's so many endings that really just are terrible when the show itself was amazing, but the end was like really bad. So it's all up for interpretation. It's all up for discussion right now. And uh, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. Write your comments, comment section below. And of course, guys, if you're new here, make sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos for The Walking Dead. Follow Dan's Walk TV, subscribe, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys very soon for another video for The Walking Dead. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out. My God, no!